Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kai and I am so beyond excited today because I have another Sweetie Nail Supply haul for you. So these products are all things that I had purchased for their anniversary sale and as an order right before that. And all of these actually preceded what I really wanted to announce today, which is that Sweetie Nail Supply saw my cinema roll video and they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do some PR for them. So if you have been around my channel for a while in previous hauls, I'd always joked about, you know, oh, once I get Sweetie Nail Supply or Zillabu to reach out to me, I'll know I've made it. And yeah, I was beyond excited when I got the email. I actually think I gasped out loud. My boyfriend was like, what? What is wrong? Um, but it was just an email from their PR team. So the next Sweetie Nail Supply haul that you see from me um, will actually be PR. So that's super awesome. I do have a discount code. It is get pressed. So if you use get pressed to order from Sweetie Nail Supply, you get 10% off. And then I actually get a 10% commission. So it's a way to support me while still buying yourself some fun things. So definitely check out Sweetie Nail Supply for your Korean Japanese gel polishes. And let's get into this video. So all of this I did purchase. So this is not the PR haul. This is stuff that I had just seen and I had really wanted. It's actually a total of two orders. I'd ordered back in March and then again for their anniversary sale. And I just, I've been so busy with the end of school getting all the kids graduated and ready to go for summer, so I hadn't had time to film these, but I wanted to show off what I got. Every order comes with these cute little thank you cards, and I'll start with the boring stuff first. So this is the D-Gel non-wipe anti-scratch top coat, and it has quickly become my new favorite. I already have one bottle of this. These are two replacement extra bottles for when I run out of that one. It is an awesome thick consistency, so if you like a thinner top coat, this is not the one for you. I showed off here, but it is nice and glossy and thick, so it will hold its shape fairly well. It's not like a, you know, Jinbi crazy thick or anything like that, but it is quite viscous. It's not going to run too much which I really like in a top coat. So it's really nice, it's shiny, non-wipe, and it seems to be lasting quite a while from what I can tell so far. This here is actually the Jinbi standard top coat. So I have the Jinbi crazy top thick version. It is my favorite for doing 3D swirls and like 3D elements. It's perfect because it's non-wipe, but it is super super thick so it will stay in place so any sort of like 3d shell designs things like that i use the jinbi crazy thick top coat for and i noticed when i was going around gems if i moved the gel around too much the thick version it was getting some air bubbles in it so for encapsulating gems or encapsulating like smaller particles i had wanted to try the standard so it's the same sort of formulation it's just that the standard version is a little bit thinner. You can see here it is nice and shiny. I would say this is like a thicker top coat consistency. You can see it kind of running off the spatula there. It is going to move around. It's definitely not for 3D work. It's for encapsulating things. I do kind of like a little drip test here. So I put a little dollop of the standard on a palette. I should have used more for this drip test, but oh well. Then I go in with the thick top coat, and honestly, this is well worth it to me because I've had this one jar since last year, I think, and granted, I don't use it for a ton of things, but it is a 40 gram jar. It costs, I think, like $39. If you get it from Zillaboo, I think Sweetie Nail Supply, it's cheaper, it might be like, 35 something like that but here are the two comparisons side by side I'm just doing a drip test here to see how viscous they are you can kind of see the one on the left the standard is a little bit runnier it flattens out a lot quicker than the one on the right 
and it drips down further in the time I let it settle. So yeah, I'm really excited to try out the standard for encapsulating gems and smaller things. Then into the color gels. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite brands for syrups. This is Yogurt Nail Korea. I got two syrup gels here, a really nice red. I have been wanting to do like a Tangulu set, some sort of fruit set, and this is just so nice and red and juicy. It is a very deep red and it is a more warm toned red. So it's not like a, a red with a purpley blue sort of um, undertone. It is just a nice, really warm, deep red. Here is the swatch. I've had people ask me before why I swatch on the underside of the swatch stick. And um, it's honestly just because I like to save time and I don't have a lot of disposable income. When I do it this way, I don't have to top coat anything. I could just wipe away the tacky layer. Here is the Yogurt Nail Syrup 24. This is, I believe, from their vintage collection. I'll have to double check that, but everything will be linked below. I had just wanted a nice cream colored syrup gel, something off white, and this looked like the perfect sort of vanilla y eggshell cream color. Here is the swatch of this one. It looks a lot darker in the bottle, but when you put it on, it is just this really nice off white tone. It's not too deep because it's a syrup gel in the bottle. It looks a little bit deeper than it actually is. But yeah, I really like how this color looks and I am excited to use it. So these two are actually their standard cream colors. I have not tried before a yogurt nail cream color. so. I wanted to get a red. I've been on the hunt for like the perfect deep red for a long time. So I tried this one. This is color 37 and it is, I would say the perfect kind of deep warm toned red. It's not super magenta-y. I have some reds that are deeper, but they're leaning really like purple almost. This is, I would say like a nice true red and it went on really smoothly. I would say it's easily like a, a one coat, maybe two coat polish, depending on how you apply it. But as you can see here, it's totally full coverage with that one coat and just a really nice creamy consistency. I actually am excited to try out more of the Yogurt Nail Korea standard cream colors. Now I have two of these because actually they sent me on accident two of the red 37 when I had actually ordered the syrup 37 blue color here. But I reached out to them. I said, hey, I think it was just a mistake. I got the red 37 instead of the blue and they sent me the blue color right away. I asked them if they wanted me to send back the red to exchange it and they said, nope, keep it as a gift. This was before I think I was even on their radar before they reached out about PR. So this is when I was just ordering as any regular customer. So I really appreciated the customer service experience I had there. It was awesome. Um, again, I can't really say enough good things about this supplier. They don't make the polishes, just to clarify, they just supply them. But I've had awesome experiences with them so far, and so I'm so glad that they reached out to me. And then I got some spring colors. This is from their gelato collection, Yogurt Nail Korea's gelato collection. It's a bunch of really fun, summery, bright colors. So I had already picked up a purple, kind of a yellow color, an orange from the Jinbi Sweet Tea collection. And so I had wanted to round out my collection of pastel syrup gels. So I just got the blue, the green, and the pink. And here I'm showing you kind of the difference between that dustier number 37 and that brighter blue from the gelato collection. And then this is the pink. It is just a really nice true pink. I was looking for one that wasn't like a nudie pink because I have actually a lot of syrup gels that are a nudish pink. This one is very much just like a true bright baby pink and I love this color. As you can see, the pastels especially from Yogurt Nail Korea, they go on really nice and smoothly, they self-level and they give really even coverage. 
I would say that Yogurt Nail Korea is kind of like a mid-range brand. It's really nice, high quality, but it's not the most expensive. And so the coverage, it usually is pretty good, I would say, especially in the pastels. Some of the darker colors I've noticed, they do have slightly more pulling. You definitely need sometimes either to work in thinner coats to get even coverage, or if you're gonna do a really thick coat, you just have to make sure that you're applying it well. But I think they're a really solid place to start with your Korean Japanese gel collection. Um, I do swatch later some Devoc gels. I do think Devoc slightly edges out Yogurt Nail Korea in terms of the self-leveling, the evenness of the polishes, but I still really love Yogurt Nail Korea. And I think that they have a little bit more variety in their colors too. Up next, I did pick up the Square Ombre brush from Mayo. So you may have seen recently that I got the Mayo, or maybe it's Mayo, I gosh, I really need to look up the name. Um, but I had purchased their peach set. And actually, I just saw that they are now selling individual shades from that peach set on Sweetie Nail Supply. So if you have watched my video, I'll link it up in the corner here if you want to check it out where I swatched the shades and you have one that you really, really like, they are selling them individually now. But this is the ombre brush. I'm just showing you here how nice and flexible the fibers are. It's meant for blending out your colors. So it's not like a traditional ombre brush where the end is super wispy and thin. This one is really meant to float the colors together, so I'm excited to try this one out. Now, the next item I have mentioned before in videos, but I haven't tried it yet. This is the D-Gel and Ginny painting gel set. So I believe it is some sort of collaboration, but it is 15 of D-Gel's paint pots. So these are their painting consistency gels. It comes in this super nice metal case here. You get a great variety of colors. When I lifted this case out, I was really surprised at how heavy it was. Like you can tell it's a really premium product because it comes in this case that's made out of metal. It's packaged with foam on the inside so that the gels don't bang around and get scuffed up before you get them. This is the variety of colors that you get. I think it's a great starter pack. They actually have two different 15 sets that you can purchase on Sweetie Nail Supply. I opted for this one because it was a bit more of the traditional colors. The other package is more like neon summery colors. So I went with this one. Here are what each pot look like. I'm just looking at the packaging here. I considered opening them all, but I actually really want to wait to open them until I'm going to use them. Just because with nail polish, it does expire a couple years after you open a polish. And these ones I want to keep nice and fresh for as long as possible so that I can use them for as long as possible and not waste too much of the product. I did go ahead though, and just for my purposes, I rearranged the colors. I am a big fan of like organizing videos and I think it stems from a personal need to keep things organized. So I went in and I tried to arrange them in order of color and the rainbow. So that's what I came up with. I just felt it looked a little bit more pleasing that way. But yeah, that is the collection. Super excited to use these. I've heard amazing things about them. Now this next collection is DVOK. I call them Devoc, um, but it's DVOK. I don't know if it's short for something, but this set caught my eye so quickly because I love cherry blossoms. It is this really fun pink springy floral set that has this really nice accent green color that also really drew my attention. If you've seen my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of a pink and green. I did like a pink and green coquette nail look that I will link up above so you can check that out. But it comes with this really pretty card for showing your swatches and here are the bottles this is that green i was talking about that was really eye-catching it's a bright springy summery jelly green 
uh, I guess it's more of a syrup, but it is very, very light in color when you put it on a swatch, as you can see here. It definitely needs like two coats, I would say, for the full effect, but it's an absolutely stunning color. It self-levels really well. It's got really nice, even color payoff. You definitely need two coats again, but I would say it is worth it for the color that you get out of it. And I just want to say, these brushes in these bottles are so nice. I don't know if you can tell, but they're really soft and flexible, which means that you can just float the color over the nail. If the brush is too stiff, it's going to drag through the polish and create streaks. But I think part of what makes these so nice to use is because the brush bristles in the bottles that they come with are just so nice and soft. This is a cat eye gel. So it's a really pretty like jelly pink with sort of a pinky gold shimmer to it. So it is like a hot pink in terms of the color that the particles are suspended in. And then the particles themselves are almost like a, a warm tone shimmery gold silver. It's looking very white here on the camera when you can see it from in front of my glove you can kind of see the warm tones coming out but it magnetizes super well you can see here it moves immediately when you apply a magnet and the particles are very apparent very there i hate a magnetic gel that doesn't really show off the particles so i was really pleased with this color i am super excited to use it this whole collection honestly is gorgeous. It really caught my eye. I even got it on pre-order. This is my first time using DVOK polishes and I am super impressed so far. So this is a cream polish. It is like this light, very soft baby pink and it is one coat. I was very surprised when I applied this. I was expecting it to be a little bit sheer you know but it is truly like one coat you could probably paint with this and do line work and it would be very opaque super easy to apply nice and self-leveling um yeah just a really awesome cream color i'm also really liking that the devoc bottles have that really nice long handle i think it makes painting really easy so this is the next color it is like a pink sparkle gel and it has these reflective glitters. Uh, I don't know if they're reflective. I take that back. They're just kind of like a duo shift or hollow almost glitter. Um, so it gives off a bunch of different colors in a really light pink base. Very pretty. I think this would be awesome both within the collection or used on its own for some sort of other look. I do really like that this collection comes with a variety of different textures in the gel. You have that full cream color, you have the sparkle, the cat eye, the green color that really stands out among the pinks. This one here is just a nice soft syrupy pink. It's a really pretty light pink. Now compared to that pink from Yogurt Nail Korea, from their gelato collection this is what i mean by i have a lot of like nudie pink colors this one's definitely leaning more of like a subtle pink whereas that yogurt nail korea is a very bright true almost cool toned pink but this one is still very pretty i personally if it didn't come in the collection i probably wouldn't have gotten that color just because i have so many like it but it's still nice to have as part of the collection now, this one here is one of the main reasons I got this collection. This is a gorgeous sparkle gel that also has what looks like little petal pieces in it. It's meant to emulate like sakura blossoms when they lose their petals and they fall and blow away in the wind. I really love a polish that has these sort of like suspended asymmetrical shapes in it. They're not just like circle sequins, they're actual what look like petal pieces that are really abstract in shape or are really irregular so they look very natural. It's a thicker gel so you can move the petals where you want them and they will stay in place. 
It also comes with that really pretty iridescent glitter to kind of offset the petal pieces. I just love this polish so much. It reminds me of like the Belva Cottage Core set. I do have one of the colors from that that I swatched in one of my earlier haul videos. And that is one of my favorite floral gels. And this one is definitely going to be added to that list. So this one here is another shimmery polish. So unlike the previous ones where we had like a straight glitter polish, and then we have the cat eye gel. This is not a cat eye. It is just a really nice jellyish pink color with some pretty iridescent shimmers in it. The shimmers are leaning very much towards like a, a warm gold color. There are some pinks in there, but it's a very nice, subtle, milky jelly shimmer color. I really like this. I think I'll be using this in quite a few sets here coming up soon. And last but not least, there are actually two versions of that gorgeous petal polish. This one has the same effect and has those little irregular petal shapes, but this one has more of a cool toned glitter. So it is the same as the one previously, but whereas that one had more of like a yellow shifting glitter in it, this one is just like a straight silver cool toned glitter. Unfortunately, as you can see there, um, this one did have a bit of a wonky bristle in my brush, which is something that happens in production, I'm sure. But I just kind of like shoved it back in the bottle. You could potentially like cut off this one if you really wanted to. I try to just finagle it into the bottle where it isn't pushed back up towards you so that hopefully as it sits, it kind of forms back together with the rest of the bristles. But here is this version of the petal polish versus the other one. As you can see between the two of them, you have one that is more cool toned and then the other, the glitters are just like a, a gold yellow shifting glitter. So it's more of like a, a warm toned. I love both of them. I am super excited to use them. I would do a whole set just with like maybe that milky pink color and then this as a topper. In fact, I might do that. I'm looking to make myself a set of press-ons that I can apply when I'm doing swatches and things to make my hands look, you know, nice and aesthetic, so maybe I will do that. But yeah, I love this set, super excited for other things that DVOK come out with. Here are all of my swatches, so these are all of the Yogurt Nail Korea polishes, very happy with these. Again, if you are looking to get into Korean syrup polishes, I would say start with these. They're a little bit more affordable than some of the other brands, and they do have really lovely colors, a huge variety. These are all of the Devoc Cherry Blossom Collection. Now this one is definitely more expensive, DVOK. The polishes are running around like $20, $21 each versus $18 for Yogurt Nail Korea, but I think that they come out with some absolutely gorgeous collections, and I am super excited to try more of them. So, this is everything I purchased. Now again, this haul here, I did purchase myself. Next time I do a Sweeney Nail Supply video will actually be the PR that they've sent me. Super excited for that. I'm gonna do a design along with showing off the product. I am beyond, beyond honored um, to have somebody from their company reach out to me. Cause again, I've been buying their products on my own. I've been using them love love them as a distributor so i'm excited to get to work with them in some capacity so here's everything i bought this time though i really appreciate all of you stopping by checking out my videos be excited because i've got more hauls coming up i do want to do a full painting video with both these degel paints and the mpa palette that i recently picked up i'm going to do a video on that I've got some charms that I want to haul with all of you. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. If you want to support me without actually paying me directly and you want to get yourself some polishes, use code GETPRESSED from Sweeney Nail Supply. But I just, I truly appreciate you all for being here and just watching 
and leaving your super kind comments every time i read comments on one of the videos that i've made it brightens my day up so thank you so much i will see you all for the next one hope you all have a wonderful day bye <laughs>